Hey, I'm Riley, and I made this spreadsheet extension that works for Excel and Google Sheets, and it was saving me so much time that I thought I would share it with all of you. Um, basically how it works is it lets you use ChatGPT and other AI systems right from within your spreadsheet, and it's pretty easy to use. So I'll show you how it works. I have this list of product titles here, uh, and I want to write a description for those products, so I can write equals AI. This is just like any other spreadsheet formula. Um, I can do equals AI, write a product description for this product title. And you can write whatever you want here. This is exactly what you would type to chat GBT, but you can do it now within your spreadsheet. And now you can also pass in cell references too. Um, so I can pass in cell B2 there and I hit enter. And now it's under the hood talking to chat GBT and getting an answer back. Uh, and I also can drag this down all the way to the bottom, and I can have it write um, as many review as many descriptions as I want. So another thing too that um, I wanted to do was to write a description like in my own voice. So um, let me just get rid of all of this and start over. Um, I have this description, which is like what I would write. This sunset t-shirt goes well with just about any outfit and it's very comfortable to wear. Um, I want the AI to write descriptions for the other products in this same style, the same voice, same tone, same length, all that. So I can use this other formula over here called equals infer. Um, and basically this will like infer the other descriptions based on what I give it. So I can do equals infer and I pass in the first title, the first description, the second title and then um, close it off and now it will write the second description based on what I gave it. So it writes um, description for the running shoes in the same type of style, which is perfect. And then I can drag it down and just before it does the same thing for all 20 of them. So that's how that works. Um, I'll show you some more examples. Um, I have this table here with some reviews and I want to figure out the sentiment, whether it's positive or negative, the reason for the review, whether it's like the shipping was bad or the product was good or the um, like figuring out why the, what the review's content is and then also write a reply to the customer. So I'll start with the sentiment. Um, there's also some, like you could write an equals AI formula here, but I also have some tools down here at the bottom for doing like um, repetitive things. So there's a sentiment analysis tool so I'll analyze the sentiment of the review, which is in column A, and um, I'll write just positive and negative. You could write more like very positive, very negative, or neutral, um, but I'll do just these two. And then I click on the cell I want to put that in, which is B2, and then I click place result, and it gets the sentiment. So I can drag it down just like before. Perfect. And then I can also get the reason for the review. Um, this would probably be good with the classify tool. So I want to classify the customer review in column A, same thing as before, and then based on the what's in the review, I guess, would be what to write. But you can you can play around with this and um, do whatever you want. So I'll also do into one of the following groups. These This would be either product, um, shipping, price, and I'll do other too, in case there's reviews that don't fit into those three buckets. Um, and I click on cell C2, which is where I want it, and I click place. And there you go, I can drag it down. And there you go. Um, Perfect, now I wanna write a reply to the customer, so I'll do another equals AI formula, equals AI, write a um, reply to this customer. Here is the review they wrote, write maximum two sentences. And A2, and you can change this to whatever you want. Um, you can play around with the, with the prompt too, um, if you're not getting the output that you want, you can change what the prompt says to make it better. Um, it's very much like a 
experimental kind of approach where you, you just kind of take a guess and see what happens and then change the prompt to make it better as you go. Um, but yeah, these replies look pretty good. Um, and then, yeah, um, if you have like an e-commerce store, you can use this to um, write things for you, to classify things for you, and then you can you can import CSVs into it and export CSVs out of it to give it to other programs. Um, it's a pretty useful tool. Um, I made it for myself and then I figured it was pretty useful, so I'm making it available to anyone. Um, you can check it out. The name of the plugin is numerous.ai. You can go to numerous.ai to get started and it works for both Google Sheets and Excel. Thanks for watching.